People in Elizabeth City are getting a preview of a new movie calling for more foster parents across the U.S. Now, prior to the pandemic, there were more than 7,000 foster families in North Carolina. Today, they're hovering around 5,000. That's why an advocacy group is hoping to use the movie to show the need specifically in Northeastern North Carolina. Dan on your side's Amy Avery joins us now to explain new at five. Well, Lena and Tom, the movie is based on a true story about a couple in Texas that inspires their rural church to embrace kids in the foster system that no one else would take. And local foster parents say they're hoping maybe this movie will inspire something like that to happen here. We care about kids here. Which ones? You can't see the one sitting right outside on your doorstep. A powerful true story with a big call to action is coming to the silver screen in Elizabeth City and local foster parents hope it will inspire a movement. I don't think that people know or understand how many kids there are actually in our, our area that are in need of help. Harmon says it's very difficult for foster families to get resources in eastern North Carolina, especially in Elizabeth City. But she told us one local church does sponsor a meal for families who get a new foster placement, and it makes a big difference. There's so many appointments and things like that that the foster parents have to get done during that first seven days. So them providing a meal for that family is just epic. The movie Sound of Hope, the story of Possum Trot, follows a true story about a reverend and his wife who took in foster kids. And through seeing their experience, they inspired others to become foster parents too. Foster Family Alliance of North Carolina Executive Director Gail Osborne says there's about 11,000 kids in foster care and there's more than 11,000 churches in North Carolina. We're hoping that this movie resonates with the people in the community to say, hey, our church could do X, Y, Z, or our community group could help sponsor a couple of families um, that are doing this incredibly big lift. She says even if you can't say yes to fostering, everyone can do something. We want to be able to support them in whatever needs they have, um, because ultimately when those needs are met, then our children are having stability within placements. Now, the movie is playing at RCE Theaters in Elizabeth City this Saturday night. The early showing is for social services employees and groups from local churches. It will then be in more theaters in our area starting next Wednesday, June 19th, and fully in theaters July 4th. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.